In this video, we are going to continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 192 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at another example. Again, I'm making it bigger after. I showed you where to find it. Okay. Find all the angles between 0 and 2 pi, which satisfy the equation 2 tan x plus square root 5 equals 0. Stop there. As soon as you see 0, 2 pi, as soon as you see that, then before you even start with the question, put your calculator on gradient mode. Now my Casio works like this. You press mode, mode, and then I choose 2. Okay, so let's just make sure. Mode, mode, and then I choose 2. And then it's doing it. But figure it out on your calculator. Now we start. The angles are between 0 and 2 pi. Therefore, the question is in radians. The answer should given, also be given in radians. So set your calculator to radiant mode. So now first we're going to rearrange. This is our equation. Now we're going to first... Get this over, becomes negative, divide by 2. Okay, there's my ratio. It's negative. Do you see it's negative? Now, the tangent function is negative in quadrant 2 and 4. Because think of your cost. There it's positive and there it's negative. Okay, now exactly the same. You find your basic angle. You press shift, tan, bracket, not the negative. Square root 5, divide 2, close the bracket, equals... And now, because the answer must be exactly to three um, decimal um, significant figures, you must make your answer to four significant figures. Radians, okay, let me repeat. Radians, the answers must also always be three significant figures. So make your basic angle to four, one more significant figures. Okay, and then don't forget this is pi. So this is pi minus that angle, and this, this is 2 pi minus that basic angle. And that's what I did. You can either write rat for radians or make that little c. doesn't matter. Okay. Again, I'm going to give you three because um, we are now in radians. So let's just see. Uh, we can start with a positive cos. And then I don't want to do a negative with it. Then we can do a positive tan. Okay. Okay. And then we can... Oh, this is actually a nice one. Right. This is sec. But that will also be cos. Okay. Definitely number F. Okay. I think that is good. Again, stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. Let's start first basic. Let's start with number A. So this is going to be cos x equals negative 3 over 7. So I'm just going to this is my cos diagram. Okay, cos is negative where? Cos is negative, there is cos positive, so cos will be negative here and here. Okay, first I'm going to find my basic angle. So I'm going to press on my calculator, shift or second function cos, not the negative, just Bracket, 3 divide 7, close the bracket, and make sure that your calculator is in radians. So I repeat, shift or second function, and then cos, and then bracket, 3 divide 7, close the bracket, equals. And I get on my calculator 1.1, make it to four significant figures. So it's going to be 2, 8, and that's radians. And now to find my angle of x, remember, 
and there is pi, and this is the left. So it's going to be pi minus that 1.128. I will usually write it at the finals. So the real pi. So shift pi, according to my calculator, comes there. Minus 1.128 equals, and I'm getting 2, and remember three significant figures, the 2.01 radians. And then the other x, it's pi plus 1.128, so shift pi plus 1.128 equals, and that is 4.27 radian. Okay, and that is the final answer. Let's look at number C. I think I will fit in C. Okay, so C is just tan X equals 6. Now remember, this can usually be bigger. And okay, but I'm now in radians. Just leave now. Where is tan positive? Tan, okay, think of my cos diagram. Tan is positive in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant. Okay, so first I get my basic answer. Okay, and now I'm going to again do that. I'm going to say shift tan six equals. And that is going to give me, and again remember four significant figures, so 1.4 Okay, and now to find that angle, so the first one is easy because that is exactly the angle. So x equals that one point, and just three significant figures, so um, I can make it 1.41. And the other one, okay, and the other one will be x equals pi plus 1.406. So shift pi plus 1.406, and that will give me 4.55 radians. Okay, and that is going to be my final answer there. Okay. Let's do the last one, F, and I'm going to make space. Okay, so number F. So, 4 cosec x plus square root 29 is equal to 0. Okay, so first we must simplify that. So, let's first take that over. It's negative square root 29. And then I divide 4 and I divide 4. And now I change. What is my third letter? So I change. So I will say sin x equals, and I swap around. Okay. Now, now I can start with my sketches. So if I have my sketch here, and again, don't forget my cost. And sin is negative where? Where is sin negative? Sin is negative. There it's positive. So it's here and here. And don't forget that that is pi. Okay. So first I get my basic angle. So I press shift, sin, and then bracket. Not the negative. 4 divide square root 29 plus the bracket equals. And I'm getting my basic and three, uh, four significant figures, 0 0.8372. And then I'm getting my answers. 
assign x is 5 plus 0 0.8372 and that will give me okay so plus that will give me 3.98 Three significant figures. And then the other one will be 2 pi minus that 0 0.8372. Okay. And that will give me 5.45. Okay. And that's how we do it.